Hello students, um, this video will be demonstrating how to complete the textured monster assignment. If you would like to draw a monster, please stay around and watch this video. If you would like to draw a Calavera sugar skull, please stop the video and watch the other video attached to this Google Classroom assignment. So the first step of this process um, is choosing what type, what shape you would like to use for the head of your creature. Uh, with the shape, um, most creatures start with an oval. However, I say that very, um, you know, loosely because keep in mind this is an imaginary creature. So for me, uh, I will start with a light circle. And then I'll begin to add a jaw line onto that circle. Um, I'm drawing mine kind of small, like three or four inches, just so that it fits into this video. But for you, you want to try and fill your paper as much as possible so that it gives you, um, gives you more room to add details. So for, let's re, let's try that again. And kind of draw a bigger oval uh, and then once I've got the oval I'll start to add the jawline some creatures have more pointy um, kind of rounded chins others have more like flared out kind of um, cheeks if you will um, but it's really up to you uh, now would also be a good time to think about maybe like, does your creature have, you know, horns? My horns are not symmetrical. Try as best I can to get that symmetrical. But the key is, I still haven't really pressed that hard. So I'm just using light lines to kind of sketch out the shape of my head. And then I'll erase once I've got a good sense of like how I want the shape of this guy's head to look. Um, I feel like I might make this more I'm going to make it more bumpy and jagged because again this is a monster. It doesn't have to be um, perfect. It's your choice. Um, once I've got the shape, I'll just draw a light line down the relatively down the middle. It doesn't need to be perfect. And this is going to help me make my, put my eyes and nose and mouth in the right place. And I'll draw the same thing on this side. When I do these, these lines are really just here to help me so I know where to put the eyes, where to put the nose, and then where to kind of fit a mouth on here. So let's make these a little darker now that we know it's going to go there. Um, with eyes, I'm going to start with eyes kind of somewhere around here, roughly right above this line. You can do eyes a few ways. Um, I have a few examples on my next page. Most of these eyes are done using ovals. Um, in this example, they've kind of got a few other uh, types of eyes. So you can do eyes by doing, you know, a line with a U under it. That's one way to do an eye. Um, so again, it's a line with a U under it. Another way would be to do little like footballs. That's more of like a, uh, a human eye. Uh, another way would be to do the same shape, maybe just circles. And then do little footballs inside. This is like snake eyes. Uh, so for my uh, crazy guy, I'm going to do a kind of a combo. I'm going to do um, this technique. Uh, 
and I'm using this middle line as a guide. So I'm just making sure that they're relatively spread out. And then I'm going to do these kind of football style inside. Uh, and then I'm going to actually skip the nose first and I'm going to worry about the mouth because with a monster, the mouth is like the most important part. Whether you want its mouth open uh, or closed is your choice. For me, I'm going to do kind of like a uh, big, so mouths, like if it's closed, you do a single line and then you do kind of like, um, you know, lips, but for mouth that's open, you would do kind of like a half, you could do a half moon, you could do a, um, like a diamond and then put teeth in it. Um, so for this guy, I think I'm going to do that diamond technique because it matches my jagged, rocky, demon kind of theme that I'm going with. And now I'll think about putting some teeth in there. And I'll work, and now I can erase some of these lines in here. Kind of. So now that I've got the two main things, there are a few options for nose, for noses. Um, the simplest human one is kind of just a little U. Um, that's what it would look like, but that kind of looks weird with this character. Um, other ones I feel like are more snake-like, which I think might work for me. Kind of like two little dots. Um, if I want to make this look more like a dragon snout, I might put like a, a line next to those to kind of make it look more like a snout. Um, some other options for noses, uh, you can kind of draw like a really flat M and then just put a little shading or like a little loop there. So I'm looking particularly at this guy here. He's got the flat M nose. Um, so again, it's just like a flat kind of M and then you just add a little dots here and here. Um, so once you have you, the shape of your head and you've kind of added the general features, I'll just erase some of the stuff around my guy. So that it's easier to see what I'm working with. Now is the time to think about texture. So when you're choosing texture, think about showing bumps, scales, fur, warts, hair, um, flames, drips. Uh, some of the examples that we looked at in class were like really drippy swamp creatures or like really, um, zoom forward, a really uh, furry kind of pine, I don't know what this is, like a, a, a some sort of hedgehog or porcupine kind of weird lizard creature, um, or whether it has scales like a fish, it's your choice. Um, the one here on the left has kind of a combo. He's got hair at the top and he's got scales on his feet. Um, so for my example here, I think like what I want to do is I'm going to do kind of like some, I might do some scales like here in this area. I'll do scales for the bottom half and then I'll do kind of a different pattern for the top half. Um, so again, with, with any sort of texture, it's pattern and shading. So I'm making a pattern of just little alternating 
these and then I'll just go in and shade. So I'm going to just continue to texture my guy um, and I'll speed the video up and we'll meet back after I've finished with texture. All right, we are back. Um, I finished up the texture. I kind of have a little combo of two. I have some hairy kind of like werewolf style texture going on up here. And then I tried to add some kind of more bumpy, scaly textures down in the mouth. Um, in order to kind of finish up this project, uh, there's two options. If you don't have colored pencils, all I would do is just add a little bit of shading to like darker areas like inside the mouth or those kind of things. But if you do have color pencils, um, you kind of want to now think about either adding color or maybe continuing this uh, texture down onto a body. Um, when you're doing color pencils, like you can almost like skip the texturing with a pencil and you can just go straight into doing texture with color pencils. Uh, the process is exactly the same. So for this, I'm going to kind of pick a couple colors that I feel like go well. I'm going to use maybe like some shades of brown in the hairy part, but then I'm going to mix those with some orangey kind of flame colors for the top. And I'm going to just, the process is exactly the same. I'm going to continue to use to bring out those textures by pressing harder with my pencil. Um, if I'm going to then again, just add some color to this and then speed up the video. If you have any questions, please, you know, pause and email me, but otherwise, uh, enjoy. And there you have it, the finished drawing. Uh, the key thing to just remember when you're adding texture, if you are going to just add texture straight with color pencil, you want to try to get two, at least two different shades of brown or two different shades of red by pressing harder to get your line work or your scale work or your, or your bumps and then press lighter to fill it in with whatever color. Um, other than that, if you have any issues or challenges in completing this assignment, uh, please email me and we can set up a time to meet during office hours. Hope everybody's safe and well. Have a great Halloween.